Hey everybody, my name is Mark Johnston and I do STEM education. Today, I want to introduce you to VEX123. Purchase it with a coder is what they call it. It's a little tablet type device and you slide in these different commands. Um, you can buy a whole lot of them and uh, it comes with those. You slide them in and you can push play and it'll light up and show you how your uh, program is going on this little puck guy right here. And so today I'm gonna show you what you could move up to after you've had a chance to mess with the physical stuff. And now you wanna get onto your computer and you wanna try programming your puck with your computer. That's what I'm gonna show you today. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here we are at code123.vex.com. So you wanna go to code 123.vex.com, C O D E 123.vex.com. And it'll take you to a page just like this. And you're going to see that there's several different commands over here. And those are going to be very similar to this coder. So they're color coded. You can see um, the sounds, uh, the looks, they all have different colors. And, uh, and so that's how you can see their different categories. Let's start with something simple. Let's just make our brain glow, our little uh, one, two, three hockey puck robot. Let's make it glow purple. So I'm just gonna drag that over here and say glow purple. And uh oh, I can't push start. Well, I need to connect the robot to the computer. So the first thing I need to do is turn the robot on. Well, if you look at the robot, there doesn't appear to be any kind of a uh, physical button or on off switch. If I touch these things, nothing happens, but there are wheels. So if I push it, there you go. You can see that it's now turned on. Now up here, if I click on robot, I can click connect. And the one that has the most bars is probably the one that's closest to your computer. So then click pair and your one, two, three bot should make a little beep noise, and now we're connected. Now I can press play. So let's press play. Ta-da, you can see right there, it's glowing purple. Let's try and change that to blue. I'm gonna push stop and then press start. And there it is, it's glowing blue. So that's a real simple way you can code your 123 robot using your computer. Now let me show you something a little bit more advanced. I think a little bit more fun. Uh, I can make the robot turn based on angles, right? And so if I go to the drivetrain, I can say turn to heading 90 degrees. I'll push start and see what happens. There it goes. It turned a right turn and a full right turn. Now it's turned 90 degrees. Now, if I push stop and I play again, notice it turned another 90 degrees. So heading 90 will always be based on where the robot starts. So for instance, if I wanted it to turn to 90, and here I'll get another one, turn to heading zero, it will turn to 90 and then back to zero. Watch, I'll start, or I'll push stop, and then click start. And notice that it turned and then went right back. Now let me point the arrow back up for us. So we can see that a little bit better. It should end up going here and then back pointing up. So I'll click stop, and start, points 90, and then points to zero again. So that is one way uh, we can use the turn to heading. Let me show you something else pretty cool. If I say 270, which direction do you think it's going to turn? If just to the right is 90, all the way around is 180, and then all the way around and then halfway back is 270. And then of course, pointing up is either 360 or zero. So which direction do you think it's gonna go? Do you think it's going to spin clockwise or counterclockwise? Let's find out. 
it spun counterclockwise because the robot determined that it's faster to turn left for 90 degrees to get me to that 270 degree mark than for it to turn all the way around. Now, if I wanted it to turn all the way around, I could just say turn right for 270 degrees, push stop and try that. And sure enough, it works. But if I'm telling my robot that I want it to turn to heading 270 degrees, then it's going to get there as fast as it can. There we go. All right, one last thing I think is pretty fun to do. If we go to the control and let's put in a forever and we tell our robot forever turn to heading zero. If it's already at heading zero, it'll just stay there. But if the robot moves at all, then it will try to turn to zero again. I'm gonna put this little orange piece of paper under there. And notice how when I turn the piece of paper, the robot turns with it. Now I'll go ahead and start my program. Okay, so it might not look like it's running, but it is definitely running. Watch. Ooh, if I turn that piece of paper, the robot wants to continue to stay facing the zero degrees. I could just spin this around and it'll keep on spinning. If I go fast, it tries to go right back fast. If I pick it up and turn it around, it will always try to go face back to the zero. So one fun little thing you can do where you can always make your robot spin and stay pointing in the same direction. And that's really all I wanted to show you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did like that video, please like it, share, subscribe, do all the things and leave me a comment and let me know, do you want more VEX123 content? Tell me what you think our little robot should do next and maybe you'll see it in the next one. Have a good one.